uh, question, is there a single verse that says clearly that the earth is a globe besides Isaiah 40, 22? Well, okay. Um, I've, I've gone through this before. Uh, I have a whole series on my YouTube channel. Uh, the Bible is not a flat earth book. Uh, I'd really rather not get into it because I, um, I, I just don't like the topic. Uh, I've exhausted a lot of energy uh, explaining why the Bible does not refer to uh, the the Earth as a as a as flat. Okay, it does not at all teach that. So check out my series. I, I go through. I look at the language. Uh, I pretty much for the most part I stay away from science because that's not really the point I'm trying to make. Um, people, you know. Uh, will question, well, how do you know this? Well, I studied Hebrew. Okay, I don't have to tell you. Uh, I studied Hebrew at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Uh, I studied it very hard. I studied other ancient languages as well. So uh, I'm, you know, a specialist in that area. And uh, you can take my word or you can leave it, all right? But I have actually done the studies to be able to explain this. And so uh, I've gone through the various passages. I think I go through, you know, all of the, the major uh, discussions and the major arguments that people have made uh, for the Bible teaching a f flat earth and um, it's not there. So um, uh, Naphtali says the earth wasn't considered a globe until the 17th century. That's not true. Not at all. Uh, it's just it's historically inaccurate and uh, and it goes on and on. So again I know that there are people uh, that, that watch my show that are very much into the flat earth perspective. I am very much not. And um, I don't tell you, uh, the earth was not considered uh, flat. That's just not true. It was actually uh, um, Aristosthenes, I think. Aristosthenes, there we go. In uh, the second century or third century BC, who deduced the curvature of the earth. Uh, we have um uh the church father uh augustine and i'm not a huge augustine fan but he talked about this the that the earth was a sphere so again there, there's so many examples that have nothing to do with nasa etc that are talking about the earth being a sphere and and of course there are references uh you know, again, it's not the Bible doesn't come out and say the earth is a sphere, right? But it doesn't say the earth is flat either, right? And and we have other things. Uh, the word rakia is talking about an expanse. Uh, people get sidetracked about the idea of the beaten metal. But the idea of the beaten metal is that you take a chunk of metal and you beat it with a hammer. And what does it do? It spreads out. That's the point. It's the spreading. So the word raka has not to do with beaten metal but it has to do with the spreading out of a substance. And so uh, when we talk about the rakia, we're talking about the spreading out. And God says that in other passages. He says that in, in Isaiah, that you know I'm the one who stretches the heavens and I, and I spread them out. So it's like putting up a tent, right? He, he's spreading that out and that empty space in there is the rakia. It doesn't mean that it has to have a, a tent structure on top of it, but the whole universe is expanding and and it's amazing when we start looking at uh, science. What have they discovered? They discovered that the earth, that the universe is ever expanding, and they can't quite figure this out. And it's expanding at a rate that's faster than the speed of light, and so that means that there are uh, large swaths of the supposed um, portions of the universe that we cannot see that we'll never be able to see because it's expanding away from us faster than the speed of light. And so that light from those stars will never get to us, okay? So again, even science is, is um, very much against this idea on so many, so many different levels. Uh, but again, the Bible in no way suggests that the earth is actually a flat uh, snow globe or whatever people have suggested. And again, uh, I've gone through this before. Uh, you guys, you're not going to convince me because I've done my homework. Um, you know, I'm always willing to do a debate on this. If somebody wants to set that up, that's fine with me. But I, I've done my homework on this. Uh, I think it's very unfortunate that there are some teachers who are pushing this. I think it's, um, I think it's very confusing. I think it, it um, is disturbing. It uh, sadly is very dis. Uh, uh, it's distracting from 
Christians who happen to be scientists that are doing some great research. And it's just a distraction. So I would encourage everyone to, you know, get off the flat earth thing. Uh, you're going to wake up one day and say, why did I waste 10 years of my life on that nonsense? So that's my, that's my suggestion. Uh, the, again, the evidence is not there. I'm always happy to do uh, a flat earth debate if somebody wants to, uh, though it's kind of a waste of in my mind, but whatever. 